guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to react to you to the Grammys 2024 recap of the best must-seen moments of the night. So 66 Grammy Awards happened. I mean, I'm a little bit late to the party, but I knew that I wanted to react to this and I didn't watch the Grammys. I just have seen some glimpses on TikTok. So yeah, I have some insights in this, but I'm really excited to see all the must-see moments. So yeah, without further ado, let's right into it. From Miley to Mariah, Taylor to Queen Celine, a historic night of girl power was had last night. Welcome everybody to yeah, the Celine. Grammy After Party Special. Not even the Southern California rainstorm could keep mm -hmm. folks away. And look, while some stars received their Grammy flowers, the biggest bouquet came in the form of Celine Dion's triumphant return to the Grammy stage. The one, the only, Celine Dion. I love you right back. <laughs> Walking out, escorted by son Renee Charles, an emotional Celine had stars hanging on oh. her every word after stiff person syndrome sidelined the legend from any stage for more than three years. I was years. so happy to see that. that um, I'm happy to be here. I really mean it from my heart. Backstage, Celine gripped Lady O's hands. The singer made her secret entrance via a VIP elevator. We're told she was feeling good and wanted to be part of this night. Taylor Swift. <laughs> no! Yeah, while Taylor made history with her fourth album of the year win, this snub, or oversight, lit up social media. She did walk up on that stage and hug everybody except Celine. What are we doing? But backstage, the two hugged it out. Taylor, congratulations. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm fantastic. Earlier, after winning her 13th Grammy, her lucky number, Tay had a swifty surprise. This you new album coming April 19th. But is it a slam at X Joe it Alwyn? It's called the Tortured Poets Department. What's the name of the WhatsApp group you're in? <laughs> <laughs> Tortured Man Club, I think. Speaking of exes, watch closely. There she is. Look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, that's Tay's former flame, Calvin Harris, backtracking, but still clapping. Our eyewitness says Calvin didn't initially stand for Swift's history-making win either, but eventually rose to applaud alongside his wife. Can we get a wave? I mean, for how long can you hold the grudges or something? Tay all white custom Scaparelli with her Snow on the Beach collaborator, Lana Del Rey. Meanwhile, where was her plus one in life, Travis Kelsey? Unfortunately, I got to get ready for this big old Super Bowl. He spent Sunday in Las Vegas. Taylor is expected to join him at the big game after closing out eras in Tokyo. Last night was Tay's fangirl Super Bowl, posing with pretty much every celeb Swifty. I mean, they both are pretty busy. What are you doing? It's so good to see you. You look gorgeous tonight. Taylor's fumble with Celine wasn't the only controversy last night. Jay-Z called out the Recording Academy for Beyonce's lack of best album wins. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. 12-year-old Blue Ivy in a white... I don't know what I think about that. I mean, true, yes. From the audience. Some of you made it, Rob. Some of you don't belong in the category. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Jay celebrated right after his speech using the Grammy he won for the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award to drink cognac. The Carters, who arrived an hour and a half late to the show, left just a few minutes before the ceremony ended. But Miley Cyrus, <laughs> oh, she had a blast. Flowers, Miley Cyrus. Started to cry, then remembered, I just won my first Grammy! She won two, actually. Oh. Her boyfriend, Max Mirando, joined her backstage and she soaked up her time on I mean, stage. And she was so happy. This, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to react out the yeah. Grammys because this I saw her being just so happy. It almost makes me emotional to like see her but it feels like, it also like succeed and like grow. You know what? You gotta dissect those <laughs> lyrics. I think the fans know more than anybody oh. knows. After an ecstatic Miley won record of the year, she had this moment with Billie Eilish, who took home song of the year. The little dance with Miley, <laughs> had a little fun. Did you all say anything? She was asking me if I also feel like when I get on stage, I say the dumbest <laughs> I could possibly say, and I was like, absolutely. <laughs> Billie Eilish. Tonight was insane. Four years ago right now, I remember so fondly seeing you after I won yes. five You're, Grammys. This turned into your night. <laughs> I guess. And I was crying, and it was honestly, like, truly one of the most incredible nights of my life. And 
I think about you frequently because because <laughs> I saw you right after and right. I was I remember you were like Billy you did it and I did so that's cool Billy beat fellow Barbie song of the year nominee Dua Lipa we got something special for you guys tonight but the Dance the Night singer is living her best life, opening the show with a new single, Training Season. Three words, give me That's a really three tricky words. to intense. open yes. a, strong, such a strong big suit. event with a song that best no one knows. Best song winner SZA is another artist who killed it on stage. I mean, SZA is She's really... Award from good friend Lizzo. To be on the stage with her is so... Amazing. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> I love you. Um, I'm not an attractive crier. <laughs> oh. I am a little nervous because there's she, a uh, She dominated the last right year now. as well, yeah. Really? The humble that was so himself, touching. Billy Joel debuted his first new song in 17 years, Turn the Lights Back On. I'm it, but I'm here right uh, Billy is a carpet to it. wife of eight years, Alexis, and their adorable matching daughters, Della and Remy. Does Billy Joel listen to Billy Joel at home? No, we do not. No, Our no, children do, not. do. I think they're doing it to annoy me. <laughs> Sing us the song on the piano. He played piano, man. It drives me nuts. And you got us feeling all right. Oh, and hey, Oprah, she pulled a short skirt from her own closet to wear in honor of good friend Tina Turner. She used to say to me, Oprah, you should always dress up for dinner. For dinner. Oprah introduced her color purple star, Fantasia Barino Taylor, who delivered a show stopping tribute to the Queen of Rock. Okay. It's a full circle moment as Proud Mary was also Fantasia's American Idol audition song. Proud Mary, keep on burning. I mean, that's nice. Griselda actress Carol G won Best Music at Urbana album. We were exclusive backstage with the Colombian singer as she broke the news to her parents back home. Mommy! Bobby! Te amo! Nos ganamos el Grammy! My mom is with my dad and they're screaming. Oh, that's sweet. And Best New Artist winner Victoria Monet hit the carpet with nearly three-year-old daughter Hazel. Backstage, she was joined by her own mother, LaTanya. Hey, hey, hey. I told her to come on the stage and she just did it. She, I was like, where were I you? I felt like it was improper for me. You know, country girl. Yeah. R&B performance winner Coco I mean, let her go to shine. joined by her mom, Javonda. She's a Grammy winner. She is a Grammy. My daughter won a Grammy tonight. <laughs> That's my girl. There was a lot of excitement at the show, but also some drama. After winning three golden trophies, Killer Mike was handcuffed and escorted out of the show by LAPD. The rapper was arrested, booked for a physical altercation, then released and returned to the arena. But he still missed this moment. I remember when we were driving, driving in your car. Luke Combs and Tracy Chapman teamed up to perform Fast Car, the song that scored Luke a Grammy nom and Tracy a Grammy win 35 years ago. Jelly Roll was on his feet singing along. Okay. You came to represent your community. I've never seen something like that with. happen. And most importantly, I brought my daughter, my 16-year-old daughter Bailey, and my wife Bunny's behind us. You talked about your mom when you got these nominations. Will she be watching tonight? She's watching from home, man. There we go. Hey, Mama. I'm on the red carpet with E.T. How you doing, Mom? How are you? We are good. We wish you were here tonight. I didn't kill I, I wish I could have been there too. Oh, oh. Burna Boy made history as the first ever Afro fusion artist to take the Grammy stage with Brandy and 21 okay, Savage. Cool. And Joni Mitchell brought the emotion in her first Grammy really performance so almost nine years after suffering a brain aneurysm. Life's illusion. Nearly 17 million watched the Grammys on CBS. Wow, this is up such 34 percent from last year. Human life. Some moments you didn't see on TV. Big star running. Grammys. Busting all in the day. I want to mess up the whole interview. I know, just, Richie. You no, know, no. You see, see, every chance I get to just attack somebody, <laughs> I want to rush somebody. Tell Lenny, 21 Savage wants to be on your next record. What's happening, man? Yeah, let's Good do it. To see you, man. Let's do it. You too. All right, man. You have to show. See, we're, we're working out things here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Housewives fans. Things are not working out for Candy Burris in Atlanta. 
are you going to be back? I'm thinking I might just say. Okay, I'm gonna drill down. Are you making an announcement right now that you are gonna take a break from Atlanta? Now you done put the pressure on. <laughs> but I guess that, yeah. Also on the carpet, lots of couples, John and Chrissy, Kelly Osborne, and a mask wearing Sid Wilson, and this new mom. I'm so excited to be here tonight. I'm like, I'm with my boo. I'm like having the greatest time. Do you feel different being a mama? Like, is there is there an added confidence? Yeah, I definitely feel more powerful okay. and like more womanly, you yeah. know? What is Paris Hilton the mom like? Uh, well, let's see. The other day I came home, Paris was on a motorized scooter and Phoenix was following her around and they were doing relay races. The cutest date award goes to <laughs> Kelly Clarkson's seven-year-old son, Remy, who proudly held mom's hand. And how about this super famous mother-in-law? I can't believe that Meryl Streep is here. I really can't believe it. Because I mean, you, oh, that, what? Huh? You thought I was lying. Meryl presented record of the year with daughter Grace's husband, Mark Ronson. We already gave out the um, best song. Yeah, yeah, that's a songwriter's award. That is also a totally different thing. Yeah, yeah. that's the one you lost. Yeah, thank you. Oh. That's the one you lost. She's, she's so supportive, and she, you know, she heard the earliest demos of like, I'm just no, Ken and Dance the Night. She was a big part of like a, a great ear on all the Barbie stuff from the beginning. You guys, I really, really like that. That was, I think, one of the most human Grammys I have ever seen. Like, like there was so much human, like, I don't know, for us normal human beings. I think this was really quite relatable. The only thing I don't know if I agree about is, like, what Jay-Z did. I mean, I understand it. I like, there should be that Beyonce have won, like, the album of the year at some point. Because she's like the most, she has the most Grammys she, like in history as a female artist. But um, it always like puts like a bad kind of spin on a person who also won. And again that falls on Taylor Swift. Like it just, I don't know, it just kind of, it's messy, it's messy. But I understand that. It's like true, yeah, she should must have won album of the year at some point, but I mean, she will probably in future in life, I mean, we're talking about Beyonce, so, but other than that, it felt really wholesome, and also, I mean, that arresting part is a bit off-throwing, but everything else, like, seeing families being involved, like, close friends being involved, and, like, the full-on happiness of people receiving these awards, and I don't think it's even about the awards being just being seen and just appreciated, and... Um, and I just think just let go with all the negativity and just be free and just enjoy their lives and vibe with each other and I think that's what we also have to like keep on bringing in this like 2024 to just bounce off each other's energies and boost and off it and just thrive just thrive so yeah I really really enjoy this like kind of compilation of the best moments of the night so thank you so much entertainment tonight for making this and showing this with other people who haven't seen the full full grammys which were like streamed for so many people so anyways guys what do you thought of the 66 grammys um i think this was one of the best grammys i have seen i don't know about performances wise because i didn't really see much of it i mean i would love to see full on of dua lipa full on of miley cyrus for sure because that just gave me the kick and the step and that was the reason why I watched this, reacted to this, because of her, because it just radiated through the screen. I was like, okay, there was something happened, the magic happened, so I had to see that. Anyways, I will stop ramble. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.